Welcome to the Will Deck Workshop Series. In this video, we will be going through the installation process for a Will Deck VRC. VRCs, or Vertical Reciprocating Conveyors, are lifts designed for the transfer of material from one floor to another. Will Deck manufactures several different types of VRCs that can move material to any upper floor level, and they pair well with our mezzanine platforms. The VRC installed in this video is a mechanical straddle attached to a wheel deck mezzanine. Installation will vary for other lift types. This tutorial will go through each phase of the install process and cover everything you need to know when installing a VRC. Start by unloading the materials and organizing them by component type. Reference the bill of materials to ensure your part count is complete and accurate before proceeding. Before starting installation, lay out chalk lines for the VRC's column locations. Ensure that all dimensions match the provided drawings. Next, stand the columns up and align them with the chalk lines. Be sure to confirm the guide angle to guide angle distance before anchoring down the columns. Once confirmed, loosely secure the column base plates to the floor. Before raising the motor into position, remove the jump blocks. Raise and attach the motor. Ensure that the jump blocks are on the same side as the chain tube. Loosely attach bracing to the columns. Once columns are plumb and dimensions are confirmed, all hardware can be tightened and secured. For chain installation, first install the lifting chain and ensure equal lengths on each side. The last link of the chain on each side should be just above the height of the carriage. Then connect the tension chain to the lifting chain. Next, the wheel blocks can be attached to the chain. Once again ensure that the chain length is equal on each side and that the wheel blocks are just above the height of the carriage. Install the VRC's chain tension assemblies. Then, move the carriage into place and adjust the elevation as needed to align with the wheel blocks. Once the elevation is adjusted, bolt the wheel blocks to the carriage. Install the exterior enclosure for the lift. Reference the general arrangement drawings for the enclosure locations. Note that standard enclosure size is 8 feet high at each level. Shown here is a full height enclosure for added safety. Assemble and install the VRC gates. Gates can either be pre-assembled on the ground and lifted into place, as shown here, or they can be assembled in position, such as here. The gate type shown here is a single panel swing gate. Wildeck also offers a variety of other gate options. Install the carriage cam for the landing gate interlock. Refer to the gate manual for the type of cam needed and the location. Then attach the interlock to the gate using additional hardware as needed. The gate here utilizes an adapter plate for mounting the interlock along with a keeper. This will vary based on the gate type. Install the push button station near the entrance at each level of the VRC. Then install the limit switches along with the cam. An electrician will then wire the unit and get it ready for use. Each device needs to be wired back to the main VRC panel. Note that pre-wired options are also available. Begin startup and complete any final commissioning and adjustments. Perform a final review with the customer and complete the VRC warranty registration sheet. 
This sheet contains a final checklist and review, and then gets a sign-off from both the installer and the end user. Wildeck offers a full line of guarding products to protect your VRC and other warehouse equipment.